Hey, what's up guys, Ref here. So January hasn't even ended yet and still it feels like we've had a full year of VTuber drama and related controversies. So right now you might have noticed over the past 48 hours, the name Rushia has been trending on Twitter and that's because there's been some very serious allegations made against her. Now she's never been someone who is shied away from controversy and big, highly covered events, whether it's on her personal account, Mike Neko, or her recent graduation from Vishojo as Nazana, or her termination from Hollow Live as Rushia. There's been a lot of controversy that's followed her way, but recently because of these allegations, a lot of people are questioning the kind of person behind these VTubers, and they're claiming that she might be someone who's actually very troubling. Now this is all stemming from a very popular Japanese tabloid article that has tens of millions of views. It alleges some very serious things about Rushia. It says that Rushia and the popular Japanese singer Mafu Mafu were in a short marriage, later divorced, and afterwards Mafu Mafu has come forward to make some very troubling allegations against Rushia. And to make this clear from the jump, those are exactly what they are. Allegations. We have not seen anything from Mike Neko's side. In fact, we might not ever hear anything publicly, at least from Mike Neko. But also keep in mind, we have a very detailed blog post accounting what happened to Mafu Mafu from his own words and also some alleged law enforcement involvement during this process and an alleged civil suit that is currently unfolding. Now, before we get into the details of the blog post, let's just remind ourselves how we got here. So back in early 2022, while Mike Neko was still playing the role of Rushia in Hall Live, she had her huge controversy that led to her eventual termination. Now, have you guys ever heard of the butterfly effect? It basically says that one small, seemingly insignificant event can lead to a whole chain of events that causes a lot of changes. And I can't think of an example better than what happened here. So during a collab stream, inadvertently, a Discord notification popped up on Rushia's screen. And the account that showed up was associated with the popular Japanese singer, Mafu Mafu. Now, this was a scandal not because he was some popular celebrity, but because he was simply a man. Because for years, Rushia had built her platform and her support largely on the girlfriend experience. And the success of this is proven by the fact that after all of these years, she is still the most super chatted VTuber in YouTube history. So when her more parasocial fans, her biggest supporters, found out about this possibility that she was talking to another man or possibly dating him, they revolted. They canceled their memberships to her YouTube channel. They destroyed and sold her merch. They said mean things about her online. It was a very big, serious situation for her and her financial support. And in the weeks that followed, all parties involved, including with the help of Japanese drama YouTubers, tried to clear their names and state that Mafu Mafu and Rushia were not in a relationship to save face with these more parasocial fans who were so financially invested into what Rushia was doing. And this was something that channels like myself covered because it was a very interesting situation involving a very big YouTuber and VTuber from Hall Live. However, if the allegations we're covering today are true, videos like this admittedly have aged like fucking milk. That's the truth of the matter. But anyways, this is the tabloid article. In this article, it names both Mafu Mafu and Rushia directly, says that they were briefly married, then divorced, and Mafu Mafu has now come out to share that there was a lot of bad things that happened during this relationship and since it has ended as well, including allegations that she cheated on him, that she also displayed behaviors that were extremely manipulative and deceptive, and also behaviors that people liken to outright abuse. So ironically, one of the people involved in the coverage of this is the drama YouTuber Kore Kore, who was involved in the attempts to clear her name back during the time of her termination from Hall Alive. He's been covering what's been going on and said that he was asking for permission, which was eventually granted to cover this in a live stream that right now is currently unfolding as I record this video. And of course it's in Japanese, so we don't know what's happened yet until someone is going to translate that, but we'll talk about this again later in the video. Now, luckily for us, Mafu Mafu has responded to these headlines and made his own blog post going over his side of the story and acknowledging what's going on. And luckily for us, we have also gotten a translated version of the text. It's four pages. We're going to go through it. We're going to slowly grind through it. It's a lot, but I think there's so many important details and allegations in it that it's definitely worth taking the time to slowly read through. Now, we're going to begin here, and the only part I'm going to kind of skim through is the beginning, where basically he's acknowledging the married and divorced headlines, 
and going over these things and saying that he's faced a lot of misinformation over the past couple of years and he's here to set the record straight even if it makes people dislike him or people lose interest in his music career and he begins down here saying i really had serious feelings for my partner hereby referred to as asan now people pointed out the fact that in this blog post by mafu mafu she is direct she is labeled as asan and in the tabloid post she is directly referred to as rusia that's probably for legal reasons but i would also say that in this blog post that is initially saying we're doing this to set the record straight if he was not involved with rusia he would clear that up first thing because he's addressing the headlines and the articles directly so if she wasn't involved and it was just some random innocent party i think that would be the first thing he would cover and make sure to set the record straight as and he would make that very clear and he wouldn't even have to name the party that he was involved in he could just simply say it's not rusia just to cover that up but he didn't so it makes it very clear and it, make, it becomes even more clear when you look at the story that he is telling here and the context that he is referring likely to rusia so continuing on he says around spring of 2021 i talked about not being able to fall in love in magazine interviews and i realized i was unable to hold any romantic feelings for people which was why i gave up on love in marriage it was during that time that i met asan and they conveyed that they liked me even with all my flaws and faults my views on love might have been different from the general perspective of romance but I thought that I would have been really good if we could live together supporting each other. I received a lot of opposition from my friends and acquaintances, but I ignored all the negative remarks and decided to officially be in a relationship with her, followed by marriage. There was no confusion that this was how sincere my feelings were towards Asan. On the next page they continue, I considered announcing my marriage many times. Of course, this was a complete 360 of what I've said before about my thoughts on love and relationships. So it's true that I was afraid of speaking about this publicly, but even then, I would have preferred for this to come out from my own mouth than have it revealed like this involuntarily. However, when we registered for our marriage, Asan was also an internet personality. Hence, due to the wishes of Asan and her associates, I could not announce this publicly. One incident that happened in the past made me think about speaking on everything as well. Due to all the misinformation and slander, I have tried countless times to find the best timing to announce the truth, but it didn't happen due to several circumstances. When I was withering away in such an environment, Asan was with me. At that time, when I would object to trivial matters, she would verbally attack me. Countless day where I would cry and apologize continued, which made me think, in the end, everything is just all my fault and my days turned so dark, it was so dark as if I couldn't see. Back then, I was so blinded that I wasn't sure if this was normal or not. In order not to make Asan displeased, all of my behaviors were to ensure she wouldn't be angry. I'd be in front of my PC every day with Line and Discord open and would reply to all messages immediately, messages from Asan. In a day, we would have hundreds of messages exchanged between the both of us, but even then, she would suspect that I was cheating on her. She would keep me online on Discord 24-7 and monitor my activities. And to prove that I wasn't cheating, I would keep going on my phone even when I was sleeping. When I look back at this now, this seems unbelievable even to me. But before, I would just accept and continue to do it. Even in the situation when I was told, you just married for the money, I would just continue to apologize without knowing much. I wasn't able to make judgment for myself. I didn't know the best choices of actions were. And at that point, the only thing that saved me were the words given by all of my important friends. I came to my senses and realized that all the words and actions I've received from Asan were moral harassment. I decided that we couldn't be together like this anymore and started to consider filing for divorce. At the start, Asan expressed her strong feelings towards this and stated that I'll reflect on everything has happened now. I don't want a divorce. So we decided not to file for divorce and try to find ways to solve the issues so that we could improve our relationship. I have originally brought a, I bought a new home for us to move in together. I thought that if we were able to live together, I would be able to remove any anxious feelings she had about our relationship. However, because our relationship had complicated into such manners, 
we both put distance between ourselves by having Asan move into the new home while I lived in my rented apartment. Shortly after that, Asan started posting cryptic messages that contained negative connotations about me on social media. Those messages would largely differ from the truth, and this prompted many criticism from third parties against me. Through proxy of my lawyers, I've repeatedly told her to stop making such statements, but yet the situation didn't improve. So now we continue on to the third page. It says, in order to improve our relationship to calm our mental health, we propose to Asan to at least disclose some facts of the situation to put an end to the unceasing slander. However, Asan's representatives unanimously opposed our request by stating that she is restarting her activities in a new form. So please refrain from announcing about your marital status and make no compromise with us about the situation. I couldn't bear Asan's attitude with her contradicting words. So on the end of May 2022, I formally filed for divorce with a lawyer. Thereafter, without being able to tell everyone the truth, we entered into divorce proceedings with lawyers. During the process, due to my health, I decided that I would go on a hiatus after Tokyo Dome. The decision to go on a hiatus was a painful one that caused a lot of trouble for the people involved. Originally, I had hoped with the announcement of my hiatus, I could talk about the truth and this would help lessen the slander going around. However, from the request of Asan's side, we couldn't talk about my marital status, and in the end, we only announced my hiatus was due to medical treatment reasons. I regretted not being able to tell the truth and felt disappointed in myself for being weak. During the divorce proceedings, Asan denied the discussion, citing poor health as a reason and demanded money and other things. When discussions were stalled, it was revealed that Asan was having an affair. In the end, we settled our divorce in the end of July with no compensation settlement paid to each other. After our divorce, the new home that Asan left from was littered with so many cardboard boxes and trash that there were literally no places to stand on. The urn with the ashes of the pet Asan used to raise was also left behind with the trash. I brought the urn home, and even till now, it's resting in a high spot in my living room. I've discovered Asan's betrayal after I had a conversation with a man, hereby referred to as Bison. I gained screenshots of their Discord in line for more details and got him to explain to me via calls. In the screenshots, there were invitations and dates and exchanging gifts on Valentine's Day. On the day we registered our marriage, from December 25th, and on December 26th, she flaked on our plans for Christmas together and invited him to hang out with her during the end of the year. And even when we were settling our divorce in the middle of May, she would text me to say she wanted to go back together with me while inviting Bison to a room to share with her. I still freshly remember that I told that I laid in bed for a long time. Bison has apologized countless times and it seems that he was a victim in this situation as well, as he didn't know about it, so we settled things amicably. Even until now, I am still good friends with Bison. But that was not all. During our divorce settlement, Asan and other parties have harassed me on social media and anonymous posting forums. During our divorce, sorry, there were a lot, of a lot of posts saying I was the perpetrator of domestic violence and I cheated countless times with multiple women. But of course, these were all lies and not true at all. During my hiatus as well, I was harassed repeatedly and I couldn't tell the truth and I passed each day with misinformation and slander spread about me. Moving on to the final page, it says, to even fight back a little so that I could get all of these misinformation and slander reduced as much as possible, I filed an information disclosure request against the anonymous posting forums. The result of that request recognized that the slander slash misinformation spread was illegal and the request was approved. As the article stated, most of the posts were written by Asan. There were a lot of hurtful statements, but one of the more cruel ones was Mafu Mafu killed Asan's cat by slamming the door on it. The cat that Asan raised was blind in both eyes when I met Asan. She was very friendly with me. I have two cats myself and I raise them with great care. There is no way I would hurt any animals, so I have no idea how she was able to think about that, let alone even put it into words. I've been doing my activities for more than 10 years, so misinformation and slander has been a part of my everyday life. 
I think I would have normally not cared about it. However, Asan was the type of person who was against slander and would speak out against it. To have a person like her registering for a paid membership on an anonymous posting forum to hurt people, it made me feel like I couldn't ignore it. If this goes to trial, people can listen and everyone will be able to get the truth. If I talked about the truth online without any context, there could be errors on my end, but bringing this to court, this will result in a lawful verdict. Due to that, knowing that everything will come to light, I decided to bring this to court. Currently, we are suing ASON for slander and the civil trial is ongoing. Last year at the end of summer, I had a discussion with the police and they recorded my statement for eight hours. A statement is a document made when police are investigating into a case. ASON was also called in and it was confirmed that she was sent the charges last year. I believe the prosecution is thinking of how to proceed from here currently. This might be an excuse, but I thought if the case went forward, everything would come to light, so I wanted to talk about the truth then. Finally, I believe the trial will go on and we will come back to this in the future again. There are a lot of things that I couldn't fit in here, but I've only wrote things that I've had clear evidence of. I don't think I've clarified enough, but this being something that I've kept in my heart for so long, I'm glad I'm able to talk to you all about it now. Like what I've written above, I might be subjected to statements that are not true or abusive language from ASON. However, if we fight it out in the legal process, there will be a conclusion to this, so please ignore all of those slander and rumors until then. No matter what happened, this doesn't change the fact that Mafu Mafu lied to the people who support him. It doesn't change that I was at fault and I will live with this fact for the rest of my life. I am really sorry. And I'm assuming this is referring to lying to people about his marital status or his hiatuses and things like that when he was in a relationship and married to Asan. And at the end, this might be really childish of me, but I really hope that with this statement published, I hope that it'll diminish the hateful content about me. Thank you very much for reading this until now, Mafu Mafu. Now, of course, like I said earlier, there is a live stream currently unfolding right now on the Corey Corey channel where they're alleging to have parties involved who will be speaking on the stream. And again, it's all in Japanese. I don't know what's being said right now, and I'm assuming there will be a follow-up on this once things are translated, but that is where we're at right now. A lot of people are viewing this situation and taking it very seriously. Again, don't take everything as a fact. These are allegations. I can't stress that enough. But what's being alleged is very concerning and if proven to be true is a very, very terrible situation. But that's going to do it for now. Uh, updates will be provided when they are relevant and established. But for now, we're going to end it here. Please feel free to share all of your thoughts about this situation in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.